Welcome to the Aintree Radiology FRCR course website and the online demonstration of OSIRIX software. OSIRIX is a free software which can be downloaded from the internet and is used in PAC systems and Mac platforms for teaching databases. So successful is OSIRIX that the Royal College of Radiologists started using it since autumn 2009 for the rapid reporting and long case film packet components of the final FRCR 2B exam. It is therefore highly recommended that anyone who is attempting the 2B exam should familiarise themselves with OSIRIX, the buttons and how to navigate. Spend most of your time in the exam thinking about the exam and not about learning new software. Hopefully, the online demonstration I'm about to show you will help. I'm going to close down this window and open up the OSIRIX software. It sits on the dock uh, as a green icon. I'm going to press that. This is the database window, and what I have done is I've compiled the rapid reporting films in an album which contains 120 cases. So this album has got four packets, each containing 30 cases. In the real exam, you have one packet with 30 cases, and this is four lots of those examples. What I've done is I've changed the patient name to Rapid Reporting FRCR 1.01, .01, and this goes sequentially down to 1.30. Further packets are entitled 2.01 to 2.30, 3.01 to 3.30, etc. If I go back to the very first uh, case, I can see from the thumbnail that there are two images. If I double click, I get again thumbnail description uh, indicating that there are two images and I use the scroll bar on the mouse to go between the two images. There are lots of buttons on the top row, the most important of which I'll, I will show you now. The window level um, is used for CT, MR and plain films. For plain films it is effectively a contrast and brightness button. So I click it then I click the left mouse button and then I move the mouse up and down changing the brightness and contrast. Occasionally you can overdo it with this method and you need to restore the original default settings by pressing the reset button. Just do that again so can't really see the image reset and brings it back to normal. If I um, use this button I can move the image around the screen which is quite useful. I can magnify by using the zoom button and then easily restoring it by pressing the reset button. To go to the next image in the packet that will be image 1.02 I prefer to close down the image window and then choose 1.02 off the database window. That way I'm not going to skip any uh, patients out and I can register that that is patient 1.02. The axial images uh, here, um, the, the word axial isn't really uh, applicable to this uh, examination but it means we've got two images. So again double click and I've already magnified the previous image and so it's magnified this one. So to go back to the default, press the reset and then I use the scroll bar on the mouse to hover between the two images. Again, I can alter the brightness, contrast and then reset it very simply. Okay, so that's rapid reporting, fairly straightforward, uh, nothing particularly uh, complicated about that. From the film packets point of view, I can go into 
uh, the film packets and as each film packet has uh, six cases uh, I'm going to uh, ascribe the cases in film packet 1, 1 1.1, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.4, 1.5, 1.6. Now this is quite an important um, bit of information because occasionally Osirix will put um, the images from a different series on a different line and you just have to be vigilant that you're getting all the images in case 1.1. So um, this patient had uh, an octreotide scan and uh, also uh, abdom abdominal thorax um, and pelvic CT. So if I just go into that you can see that the uh, octreotide scans are there on the left and this is the CT thorax abdominal pelvis uh, image. We can use the scroll bar on the mouse to go up and down on the image. We can zoom up the image. We can then, if we wish, rotate the image. But I tend not to use that button. And you can always reset it back to the normal default settings. If I wish to look at this on uh, lung windows, I use the drop down menu in the level and width bar and I can put it on bone windows, lung windows, etc. Close that down and then go on to the next case which is 1.2. This case comprises uh, four MR series. Double click again and we can scroll up and down. We can zoom in but always press the reset button to make sure that you're not over magnifying the film and missing things in the periphery. So that's very important. Uh, these cases are repeated um, but they are numbered 2.1, 2.2 instead of 1.1, 1.2. So this is uh, the long cases. Hopefully you'll find uh, the tutorial informative. There's no substitute for uh, getting stuck into this yourself by uh, acquiring a Mac either for yourself or from somebody else. Load it with Osirix, which is uh, free from the internet, using DICOM images and navigating your way around the uh, patient's films. Good luck in the exam, uh, good luck with Osirix and that's the end of the tutorial, thank you.